Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to create a simple slider in WPF and when you change the slider how to update UI to show the value of the slider. We can do multiple things. Create a new project, select a WPF application, say next, create whatever name and then we have this WPF window. So in this simply select a slider. That's my slider and you know, change its size change the size and you can have a value using a text block so you can simply drag a text block here match it a little bigger then change uh, give some name to it so this is my slider one I like to give such names and this is my text one okay for demo purpose and then here I'll remove this I just want to show that value of slider and I will use some other font size font dot font dot okay font yeah, size is uh, 24 I think good enough and that's the design part and now what do we do we go to this uh, our application window here and simple you can say slider one dot value changed this is the signal that you are going to get and with this you will say uh, progress progress update okay yeah you can do that and see it says red so if you do alternative generate method that's cool right it does the implement the implementation for us quite nice useful feature and with this now on progress object what do we want to do we want to say text one dot text is equal to uh you know simply update the value e dot new value right and if you run this as you can see if I change this, I am seeing this value of the slider. Okay, you can configure the slider by saying slider slider one slider or minimum value or with zero uh, slider one dot maximum value maximum is equal to hundred. And here uh, we can uh, just. Uh, improve it where is this fellow let's increase some room here I uh, can't see this where is that text block I don't see that so I'll delete it uh, I'll go here I'll select a text block and uh, I'll drag it again I'll make it a little big and uh, I'll say font size is 20 this time and I'll give it a name let's call a name text one with this I'll run again and now as I change I see the value updating this is cool but I don't want these floating numbers so let's go back here and simply use math.round and with this run again and yeah this is better right so as you change the slider you get the update this is simple nice and uh, useful so this is how you create components you attach some um, event handlers to it and uh, now this is how you write the event handlers uh, for the default value you can remove the default values from here so this content if you run it now you can see right that's good thank you very much